Hello everyone. I am Kuldeep Daryani and I love to help people become better in their personal and professional life. Dear friends, today we will broaden our horizon on loss or underutilization of overheads claim. As we know, overheads form around 8% to 25% of the contract price depending upon the type of contract. Like for highways it is 8% and for structures it is to the extent of 25% when extension of time is granted on a construction contract substantiating loss of overheads claim needs mammoth efforts to prove when asked for by the authority contemporary records in the form of breakup or balance sheets to reflect various components of overheads are a must these overheads components can be categorized as one site establishment office plant setup including allied services second site supervision expenses third corporate office expenses next mobilization and demobilization of resources labor camps amenities transportation etc lab equipments quality control etc survey equipments tools and plants watch and ward expenses traffic management insurance sales turnover tax etc as bill drawings and documentation environmental expenses etc documentation required to substantiate quantity of overhead claims is similar to the claim of underutilized machineries which is derived from monthly progress reports monthly inspection reports and daily progress reports etc there are various methods to determine the loss of overheads which are first hudson formula in hudson building and engineering contracts the hudson formula is stated as contractors head office overheads and profit percentage multiplied by contract sum divided by contract period multiplied by period of delay in the hudson formula the head office overhead percentage is taken from the contract although the hudson formula has received judicial support in many cases it has been criticized principally because it adopts the head office overhead percentage from the contract as the factor for calculating the cost and this may be a little or no relation to the actual head office cost of the contractor second amden formula in amden's building contracts and practice the amden formula is stated as head office overheads and profit divide 100 multiplied by contract sum divided by contract period multiplied by period of delay Using the Amden formula the head office overhead percentage is arrived at by dividing the total overhead cost and profit of the contractor's organization as a whole by a total turnover this formula has the advantage of using the contractor's actual head office and profit percentage rather than those contained in the contract third ishle formula the ishle formula was evolved in america and derives its name from a case heard by arm services board of contract appeals ashley corporation it is applied as step 1 contract billings divided by total billing for contract period multiplied by total overhead for the contract period equals to overhead allocable to the contract step 2 allocable overhead divided by total days of contract equals daily overhead rate step 3 daily contract overhead rate multiplied by number of days of delay equals amount of unabsorbed overheads the methodology of calculation will not be acceptable and also cannot be justified the claim of infructuous overheads can be accepted only when calculated as per the norms and supporting laws let me explain all this through an example 
one. If the original construction period is for 24 months, that is 730 days, and extension of time approved is for 12 months, that is 365 days, therefore revised total construction period is 1095 days. Assuming bid project cost BPC as rupees 1000 crore, overheads considered at the rate 8% of the contract sum will be rupees 1000 crore multiplied by 8% as rupees 80 crores. Overheads per day will be therefore rupees 80 crore divided by 730 days as rupees 0.11 crore per day. Suppose work done in the original construction period of 24 months is at the rate 70% is rupees 700 crores. Hence the work done in extended period of 12 months will be rupees 300 crore claim in the original construction period. Overheads recovered at the rate 8% of rupees 700 crore as rupees 56 crore. Therefore, loss of overheads in the original construction period of 24 months will be the difference of planned overheads and recovered overheads that is difference between rupees 80 crore and rupees 56 crore as rupees 24 crore. Now the claim in the extended construction period. Since the period of delay is for 12 months that is for 365 days Accordingly, overheads during the extended period of 365 days is rupees 0.11 crore per day multiplied by 365 days as rupees 40 crore. Now, because the work executed in the extended period is rupees 300 crore, therefore overheads recovered in the extended period at the rate 8% of rupees 300 crore will be rupees 24 crore. Therefore, loss of overheads during the extended period will be the difference of planned overheads and recovered overheads in the extended period that is difference between rupees 40 crore and rupees 24 crore as rupees 16 crore finally total loss of overheads will be the sum of loss of overheads in the original construction period and in the extended period as the sum of rupees 24 crore and rupees 16 crore as total rupees 40 crore. In the following videos, we will elaborate more details on other aspects of contract administration. For more details, please visit our website, Daryani's Engineers and Associates Private Limited.